I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets. People actually take little tastes along the way with their fingers. Oh. They do. Oh, Mo, I'm so sorry. You need a minute? I love this. <laughs> that was just part of the trailer for the all-new season four of the hit CBS News podcast, Mobituaries. Do you know my mom never let us go to buffets? Seriously? Yeah, because people of would that? spit in the salad bar. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> That is just, all right. It's hosted by CBS Sunday Morning correspondent Mo Rocca, who manages to be even funnier when he's talking about Mo's favorite dearly departed people and things. Mm -hmm. Kara and Irene got the chance to talk with him about the new episodes. Check it out. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to be with both of you. And I am telling you, I am so anti-buffet. I am pro-cafeteria. <laughs> we can talk about that later if you want. Okay, but those are two. Those are two very different things. Very different. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, de <laughs> dead people and food in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this series and how did you come up with this concept? And this is a great month to launch it, of course, because it's spooky season. It's spooky season, yeah. Um, so this is our fourth season. Um, it, uh, this is my way, Mobituaries is my way of paying tribute to the people and things that didn't get the send off they deserved the first time. Mm. Um, so some of in previous seasons, we've done Audrey Hepburn, Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr., founding father Thomas Paine, um, the station wagon. I missed the station wagon. I really missed <laughs> riding in the way back, even though I know it was the death chamber. I really, it was really fun when I was a kid. Um, some are less well known. Um, so um, the so called Siamese twins, Chang and Ang who were wildly famous in the 1800s. Um, this season, our first episode out, currently available, is about famous people who died on the same day. I'm guessing you both may remember June 25th, 2009, when Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson died the same day. Um, Michael Jackson sort of wiped her off of the front page. Uh, and this has happened throughout history, um, going back to John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, oh, who wow. died on the very... Wow. And it really, it, like, it's kind of wiped off the page and it's kind of overwhelming at the same time because you want to think about, you know, the one person who died and then you hear about somebody like Farrah Fawcett who had this incredible career of her own. I know, and she just got a little, like, video clip out there. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. I was angry in the news that day and it was kind of hard to balance everything. But mm -hmm. so uh, this is, uh, you know, what goes in for you have such a nice uh interesting unique way of telling stories when you do these i mean do you go walk with these people how do you decide who you're interviewing like what's your process to get this podcast all ready so that we can listen so i have to feel some sort of connection to the person i have to be truly interested because I think if I'm not really interested, if I'm faking it, the audience will pick up on that. Mm. Obviously, that you need to know the person. But I'll give you an example. My first job out of college was working at the fragrance counter at Macy's in, on, in Herald Square, one of the largest and noisiest retail floors in the world. And one day in early 1992, Audrey Hepburn walked by my counter. Oh, my goodness. And which I mean, she floated by my counter right. and there was, there was no announcement. And then just the crowd just fell silent. And it, everyone, we were just sort of in awe Like she had that kind of a presence. A few months later, nine months later, I had no idea she was sick. She died and she died on the very same day that Bill Clinton was inaugurated. And so she was pushed off the front page for that. And so there were a couple of things at play here that were really interesting to me. And so I went and I talked to President Clinton and I said, did you, were you aware that Audrey Hepburn died on the day of your inauguration? And he was shocked. And then he said, which I thought was kind of funny. He said, well, I was kind of busy that day. But um, <laughs> so, you know, um, so it, it can be a number of different factors. But if I'm if I'm intrigued by it and I and my team and I work hard enough at it, I trust that we can get other people interested in it.
Oh, absolutely. Such an interesting story. So go back to some of the, th we're going to go back to some of the things that you wish would die, such as the buffet. I mean, that was kind of a horrifying fact that we talked about, <laughs> that people kind of just take little bites of things. Is that the main reason you wish it would go away? Well, here's the thing. I have always been very pro cafeteria, right? Which is very, which is different than the buffet. The cafeteria, there. I need some sort of authority figure. So I need the hairnet and with gloves ladling the mashed potatoes, who really knows how to ladle them and create that little depression in the, in the middle of the mound into which the gravy goes. Um, I need the guy or the gal with the paper chef's hat and the carving knife underneath, you know, that red orange light that looks sort of radioactive, but actually makes the side of roast beef look even more glistening and delicious. I do not like the free for all <laughs> of a hot open food bar where I'm, you know, being handed sticky tongs by Todd, a guy I've never met, some stranger. You know, it's it, it, we can't have that. I, I got mean, it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Buffets are amateur. He wants right. professional cafeterias. We could spend all day with you, Mo. I, I mean, we're, we're, but we uh, we can listen to you and feel like you're with us because you can get the Mo Bitteries podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Yes. And season four of Mobituaries is available right now. You can find it anywhere you get your podcasts. New episodes drop each Wednesday. For more information, you can visit Mobituaries.com or follow along on Instagram at Mobituaries.